Hello Chatbox out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my week so far That is my Monday, my Tuesday and my Wednesday I hope you guys are all having a lovely week so far On my Monday I didn't have work until the evening, I was doing a 5 top close Which meant I got a nice lion I then got up and I got showered and changed and had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast And my grandma was over, my dad had gotten her from hers on the way back from being at work and they'd gone to Butties, which is this amazing sandwich place where we normally get our sandwiches for and they are just such great sandwiches and we got our Christmas boots from there and then my grandma treated us all for a Butties lunch which was very good so I had that for my lunch and my younger sister was still asleep my mum was up and my older brother was at work placement old sister and younger brother at work and I was just listening to a bit of music did some joy and colouring in and working with some illustrations and colouring in some of those illustrations with some of the jar pans which are fruit flavoured and they smell so good and then for my lunch I had my butties and I had a tuna cheese, onion, lettuce, cucumber, toasted wrap and I had that with a cup of tea and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now So delicious, I love a butties their toasted wraps are so good it was quite miserable, waning so hard and just very dark and gloomy so I didn't really get out. I was getting a bit stir crazy stuck in the house all day. I like to be able to go on my walks. I'd rather it be cold and dry than wet and cold because when it's wet and cold you can't leave the house because you're going to get soaked. Whereas when it's cold but dry at least you can go out for walks, you can run errands, you can do whatever you need to do just whack a hat, some gloves and a scarf on and you're ready to go. So I prefer when it's cold and dry to when it's wet and cold, especially when it's cold rain and when you have to get out and you're getting soaked and getting blown around the place, not good. And so I just watched loads of stuff on Netflix and was listening to music, doing some drawing and coloring in and just lots of reading, reading more of Red, White and Royal Blue, which is such a great book and I really hope they do a second film. And then my older brother got back from being at work placement and I then was just listening to a bit of Kylie and watching some vlogs and TikToks and posting some new TikToks. And then I got myself ready to go off to work and my dad then dropped me up to work and I got to work and got clocked in and put my bag and coat away and I got a snap of the Spongebob mural on our whiteboard on the back of the bar which is ever expanding and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. I love it. I drew Spongebob's house and attempted to draw Gary and it didn't turn out very well. I tried again and I'm just Looking forward to finding out what people actually think it looks like because it looks awful but tried my best and then I was just chatting with one of my colleagues who was just finishing we were on changing over shifts and she's my work bestie and was having a good catch up with her she went off home and I then made myself a luxury hot chocolate with cream and marshmallow the full shebang and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now it was amazing. I've got a bit of a cold, so I've got a bit of a sore throat and a bit of a runny nose. So that definitely helped make me feel better. And it was just me and one of my colleagues on shift. I mean, him got on really well and we always closed really well. And we both love Dot 2, so we were chatting about Dot 2. He also put a bit of Kylie on for me to help cheer me up and was being very lovely and supportive about me and with Grampy. And I was just talking to him about that. And all my colleagues have just been so lovely and so supportive and I found out that the funeral is on the 20th and I'm off to Kale Caves the next day. So I've written those in the diary and the 21st is already paid for and booked off that I put that in the diary ages ago along with the 23rd when I'm off to afternoon tea in the evening. So I say I can work daytime but just not evening on the 23rd which is a Saturday. And so they're just having to sort out about the 20th but I'm definitely not going to be missing it so if needs be someone will have to just cover it but I'm sure we'll get it sorted out so we're going to be going to the grave and then going off to Turnbury's this like community centre just up the road where we're going to have a little wake 
and my aunt and uncle and cousins are coming over from Ireland and then we've got family from London coming down and so there's going to be quite a lot of them. Although it's going to be a sad day, it's also going to be nice to get to see my family who I haven't seen in ages and, it, and just before Christmas and it's going to be lovely to be enough to celebrate such an amazing man. I still can't believe he's gone and so it's good I've got family and friends that are so lovely and supportive and it was quite a quiet shift. Monday nights are always quite quiet. We did have a few people come in. We had a couple call in and book and they're like, is there any space? I was like, yep, there's plenty. So they came in and I was just wanting food and drinks, clean tables and do some food and drink orders and bill taking and got loads of the clothes jobs done. Absolutely smashed the closes. I don't really like evening shifts. I like day shifts more than evening shifts because I like my evenings. I like to sleep early but I'm actually quite good at closes despite not liking them very much. And then we finished about 10.30ish and we clocked off, locked up, set the alarms and then headed off. And I got picked up and I got back and for my tea, I had a cheese and pickle toasty with a cup of tea. I love a cheese and pickle toasty, they are so delicious. I then was watching DK Soaps and watching I'm a Celeb and then finished writing my journal put that away and then I was just watching some episodes of Doctor Who and I caught up on new Doctor Who and I'm loving having the Doctor and Donna reunited. Catherine Tate and David Tennant just work so well together and I'm sad that this Saturday coming is the last episode with David as the 40th Doctor but I'm looking forward to the new Doctor with the dude who was in sex education whose name escapes me but I'm looking forward to having him as the new Doctor it's going to be amazing. People keep kicking off about the colour of his skin and I'm like that's not okay. The Doctor has been a woman, it could be, it's an alien, it could be any colour, any shape, any form. I don't care who it is, I am just loving it and the writing is so good at the moment. Definitely we've had a muscle T Davies back and yeah I can't wait with the Toymaker episode. But Neil Patrick Harris starring in it which is, as the toy maker, which is going to be epic. Trailer looks amazing. I then went off to bed and then on my Tuesday I got up after a nice lion and I am now off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and I had some breakfast and just a bit of music and did some drawing and colouring in. My younger sister was still asleep. My dad had got back from work and gone off to bed. My mum was up and my grandma was over and my older sister and younger brother were at work and older brother was at work placement and I then got myself ready to go off on a massive walk and I went up to one of the flower shops and I got some flower stats from there that I want to show you guys now. very festive love it in there I also got some plants that's on there that I'm going to show you guys now love the plant section so much I then had a nice chat with the flower shopkeepers in there I then went off and had a look at sort of child shops and I got this rainbow high skate like ski thing doll with a skateboard I just got green hair and a hat and I love the dungarees and the jacket and she's got green nails she's so pretty she's got like sparkles on her face and she also comes with a set for outfit which is this checkered skirt and striped jumper I love that and it was only six pounds from the charge shop and online it was like 30 quid when they were oh i don't think they're doing them anymore but yeah i love her and she can stand up so i got a nice photo of her when i was back i then went off to one of the other flash shops and i got some flash stats from there don't want to show you guys now I love flower photography so much, it makes me so happy, I find it so therapeutic and I love all the colours 
and also also good in there. I was then just chatting with them about my grandpa's funeral flowers and my mum and grandma are going to be going up next week sometime and she kindly wrote down like how much each flower cost and like a rough idea which really helped me because I wasn't really sure what my mum and grandma were looking for so I gave that to my grandma and mum when I got back. I then went off to Costa and had a hot chocolate and a cherry bake roll from there. I'm going to show you guys now. The luxury hot chocolate was so good with all the cream and marshmallows. I actually had the cherry bake roll to go and I got some more for the others. So I got those in a bag to take with me and put that in the bag with my doll. And so I didn't have to carry two feet at the same time, which was handy having that bag with the doll in. And then I went and got a Murasafi from there. And I'm gonna show you guys that Murasafi now. Absolutely love that wallpaper behind that mirror. I want that in my bedroom. Then I went off to more of the child shops and I got a photo taken of me in front of the Christmas archway that Jules Fleur's one of my favorite flower shops that I love going into, did for one of the restaurants in my town called Ronnie's and it looked amazing. And I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that now. I love it with the nutcrackers and the candy canes. It's a Christmas spectacular. It looks so good. And one of the wagglers who comes into my workplace was getting a photo at the time when I was trying to get a selfie. So she kind of got a photo of me in front of it for me, which is very lovely of her to do so. I was just having a nice catch up with her. I also saw one of the other wagglers in Costa who she had a fall, so she hasn't been in for a while. So I was checking on her and she said, I'll see you next week and she's coming in for an Americano, which she always has, and it'll be lovely to see her. Then on the way back from being at the high street, I went off to Carp to get myself some lunch from there, and I got a snap of this knitted nativity seat, which is on top of one of the post office boxes, and I'm gonna show you guys that now. So lovely. It'll probably get vandalized or ruined by the rain, so I thought I'd get a photo of it before anything happens to it. I then went into Carp and I got myself some cheesy bread rolls and some soft cheese, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. It's so good. Then I was making my way back and I walked the long way round and I got a snap of these Christmas snowmen or Christmas display. And I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that now. So pretty, getting me so festive. I love seeing all the Christmas decorations and displays going up. I was then able to get some Christmas snaps from my town's castle. So I went in there and got some snaps of the Christmas trees and decorations in there that I'm gonna show you guys now. So beautiful in there. Had afternoon tea in there last year. We're now going to sort of put a hotel this time for a change, but it was just so lovely in there with the fireplace roaring. And then I made my way home and I got back and my family friends were over to see my grandma. And so I had a nice chat with them. Dina went off home. I then was just watching some TV and listening to a bit of music. I then had some of my cheese rolls with soft cheese and a cup of tea. And my mum and dad went up to the care home to empty my grandpa's room, which he'd been saying it was quite sad. They then got back and my grandma stayed for a bit and then my dad got to home. And then my older brother was back for a bit of work placement. And then I was just watching some TV, writing a bit of my journal and listening to a bit of music. And then my dad dropped me up to a youth club, which I volunteer every Tuesday night. And we were at the pod, which is a place up near the Legend Centre. And we were doing some Christmas crafts. And I did this little star. We used wool and like put some screws and then like wrapped it around. And we then had some hot chocolates. And it was quite a good session. Always goes so quick. You know what they say, time flies were having fun. And next week, it's on a Monday instead of Tuesday as we're off to Old Down Country Park's Christmas lights display, which is going to be so much fun. And we're going to be doing some crafts, having some mulled wine, some mince pies, and 
having a little tour of the place and I'm looking forward to getting some nice snaps of that. And then my dad picked me up, got back and for tea we had takeaway and I had a cheese omelette with some chips and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. It was so delicious. After that I was then watching the UK soaps, first tracking my journal, I put that away and then my older phone was back from being at rugby training and I was then just listening to a bit of music, did a bit of drawing and colouring in and just watching some vlogs and TikToks and just tidying up my office where it had been a bit of a mess and where I'd been working on some illustrations and doing some drawing and colouring in. I then watched I'm a Celeb and then I was just watching Ever After, I love that film so much. I then went off to bed and then on my Wednesday, which is today, I got up after a nice line and my dad was back from being at work and my mum was up and my grandma had got her hair cut just around the corner from where we live and she came over and my older brother and younger my older sister and younger brother at work and older brother was at work placement and younger sister was asleep and then my mum and grandma and our family friend went out for lunch and my dad had gone off for a nap and I then went off on a massive walk and got some lovely autumnal selfies stole lots of lovely autumn leaves out and about despite almost being winter time now and then I got back and I had some lunch and was just watching some stuff on Netflix and then my dad got up from his nap and was just sort of stuff on the house and then my mum and grandma got back from being with our family friend having lunch at a place called the farm shop just up near Tortworth where I used to live and they had a really good time and my younger sister's boyfriend is now over and they're going back up to Chatham tonight and she's staying there for a week or so and then she's coming back down on the 17th for when the, just before the funeral for our grand peers and they've now headed off and I'm now off to go and head down to my grandma's with my mum and dad to help put her furniture back where it should be as her decorating is now finished. I'm looking forward to seeing that all decorated and finished. And yeah, I hope you guys have all had a lovely week so far. All have a lovely rest of your day. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.